Alright, before we get started, this is the channel where our, um, the music for our intro uh, video came from. Uh, the Weebrew channel from uh, Team Twizzlers. Let's go. Um, in today's video, we'll be discussing some of the uh, more popular uh, utilities available for the homebrew channel from uh, Weebrew.org. We're going to start with the basic one, which is on page 2, Scott. It's called the Homebrew uh, Browser. Um, in the Homebrew browser, it's a very convenient application where you can download all of the available applications directly on your Wii without the use of a computer. Very useful if you don't have a um, computer available to you that is uh, convenient. Scott's going through the description, which you may or may not be able to read. Oh, I can see it on the camera. Let me just load. Um, We'll go through some of the uh, various. We'll, uh, we'll go through the various channels that's available, the various t topics. And uh, okay, first we'll start with the uh, emulators, which is on the far left, as you can see. And there's different emulators from different people. Like there's the one for uh, um, Super Nintendo, the Genesis. That's a private one for um, all sorts of different games. Scum VM. There's one there that looks like it's for Game Boy. And that looks like the Sega Genesis, and that's the regular Nintendo, and that's the Sega Saturn, that's what it says, and the Neo Geo, and more, more Nintendos, looks like a Game Boy Advance there, to the top right, something down there, can't even read it, Wii 64, Wii 64, Scott says, so, next we'll go to games, these aren't, um, ROMs, these are just games people have designed for the Wii, like we have Wii Solitaire, and we have, uh, Uno, and if we go, Nothing else familiar there, but if we go to page two, Guitar Fun, which requires the Guitar Hero, Wii Operation, Ma Jong, whatever that is, Wii Tic Tac Toe, X's and O's, uh, Wii Physics, Space Shooter, Missile Command, I might try that, and Duck Hunt. Looks like a good one. Although I'm not just in the street. Next we have Media. Um, these are the five available players. Uh, we, we're going to show DMP later in our video, which is Dragon Media Player. And we also, there's five available for the Wii. Next we have Utilities, which is like the Orcarina cheating program, Gecko S, I'm not sure, Web Server, which you nerds will know what that is. If you go to page 2, we have another web server, we have a Wii whiteboard, which um, it's pretty complicated, so noobs don't try it. And we have GameCube Saver Data, whatever that is. Okay, we have uh, this is um, demos. These are Utilities and other games that are, aren't quite finished yet. Over here we have the Head Tracking Demo. Um, Planet Hively, which I don't get. There's a Box 2D, which uh, is just stuff. We Paint, which is a painting. We Mote Demo, also somewhat complicated. Something here about a cat. It's got. I don't know what that is. I downloaded myself. We're not sure what that is. It's just something about a cat. Uh, yes. I feel like cats download it. And move the Pussy is what it's called. It's called Move the Pussy. Don't sound very nice. Yeah. Well, Some of you might like that game, but uh, anyways, we are um, download a game. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna download a game so you can see exactly how it works. We're gonna, right here, chess. That's too. That's gonna take too long, Scott. It's too big. It's not the fastest um, downloading. So right here, chess is only three hundred and eighty-three kilobytes. So Scott presses download. We'll probably speed the video up. Yeah, we'll we'll like uh, speed this up from this section. So as you can see, the download is initialized, and it's slowly downloading onto the Wii. That's, this is the main point, though. You can do all this without the use of your computer. Like, And also, I uh, let me point out that just the button on the far left is the About button. And um, it uh, tells you a little bit about each program. You can't click while you're downloading, so I can't really demonstrate it. But it just gives you a little bit of... Um, information about uh, what you're downloading so you don't waste your time downloading a 10 megabyte file that turned out to be useless on the useless topic don't download Wii Lite 
it is useless. It is the stupidest thing ever. Sorry to whoever made it. You suck. Anyways, none of that's done. We're going to press home and return to the um, homebrew channel for uh, one more application before we end this video. And I'm, we're going to do the Dragon Media Player, which I showed you temp uh, a little bit ago. Please note that um, the only accessories you can have plugged into your Wii is your SD card and a USB hub. Uh, nothing else. Any lights, chargers, Wii Fit will just completely mess it up. Rock Band, none of that will work. So here we have you click on the root of your SD and you browse for your music or videos. We have no videos, but we do have music. That's the only song I have on there for just demonstration. So as you can see, I, I know. So we'll start off by showing you, down here there's a bar that shows progress, timers, a volume gauge. But now I have something very impressive to show you. We're just going to move our camera. If you look at your Nintendo Wii console, you can see that the Wii flashes to the beat of the music. I, me and Scott here find this very um, awesome. It's, the light flashes to this um, lock on here. Right here, where it's the bar that shows the volume, it, it uh, synced with this, and the light flashes to the beat of the music. And uh, we'll go back to our TV. So that there is. Um, uh, Dragon Media Player. I think we have time for one more, so let's return to the um, homebrew uh, channel. And we have time for one more application, I believe. Try Duck Hunt. I don't have Duck Hunt. This video? No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, let's go to the next page and see what we have there. Uh, no, next page. Next page. Next page? Any, there's, do we have anything worth showing you? Not really. Let's, let's try chess we just downloaded. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. This is a, um, it's a game I downloaded, or it may be a utility. It doesn't do much, but you might find it fun. So, Scott, that's the mouse of the Wii, and if he presses A, he drops the ball. And he can keep pressing A and drop as many as he wants until the screen fills up and the Wii probably crashes. So by pressing B and tilting the remote, he actually changes the vortex of gravity and uh, the balls fly around the room. So like if he puts the vortex to the top of the screen, which, could you do that please? I'm trying. He's trying. He's... Okay, so it's tilted forward, I believe. Hmm? There you go. Okay, he has it. Yeah. Now if he creates a ball in the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it flies up to the top. It's pretty cool. Just a little something for your amusement. Alright, and uh, that's all we have to show you. That is the uh, some of the various applications on the uh, available on the Homebrew channel. Um, probably next week or in two weeks or so, we'll find um, some of the best applications available and make like a top five video of applications we recommend. So once again, this is Brandon. Thank you.